hello guys welcome back uh, i hope everyone is doing good so in this video i am going to tell you how you can install xamp on your particular system and also how to open existing php websites so websites which has been built using php and how to run this okay using the local host so without wasting time what we will do is we will go to a browser here and type xamp download right so you can see the first link that is download sam has been occurred right just open this so after opening this you can see three links here download 64 bit 64 bit 64 bit this these are some of our different versions you can select any of any one of them uh, all will work the same so i will go for the first one after clicking download it's showing like awesome your download will start automatically right so it will take some five to ten seconds to occur the pop pop up so as you can see the pop up has been opened here so it is asking to save in your particular folder uh, if i click on the save it will save in the download section but i won't save it now because i have already downloaded xamp windows here right you can see this so just for that i will cancel this out so go to the downloaded section you can see i have opened download downloads here here you can see xamp windows 64 bit right so this file will be get downloaded after downloading it from that website so after downloading this what you can do is you can follow simple steps it is as simple as uh, installing other simple softwares you can follow the steps as the system provides and just download the web uh, download this particular software so after downloading this many of them made a mistake that is they don't include this path in system environment variables i will show you how to do that after installing this what you can do is go to your installed directory right i have installed this in your particular c drive go to c drive if you have installed otherwise if you have installed it in any other drives go to that particular drive and search for xamp folder as you can see xamp folder is here right just open this and search for mysql here you can see mysql is here just open this and go to bin folder after opening bin folder what to do is copy this path that is this pc windows c xamp mysql bin right just click on this empty space here it will select all this Thing. just control c means copy the path here and go to the search bar search for edit the system environment variables you can see here right just open this after opening this go to this environment variables after opening to environment variables under system variable search for path so you can see here path is here right just double click on this you will get one, one more pop-up here in this one more pop-up what you do is go to the new section here and just paste the thing which you have been copied from the uh, existing directory right the bin folder path so after selecting this what you do is go go on clicking this ok just ok and again ok so that's it so the path has been included in our system environment variables now close this particular uh, thing that is a uh, windows and uh, what you do is uh, go to your project folder i have installed one project i will show you i will go to download section you can see here i have installed a project that is food waste management system main right so this is a zip file before opening this in a browser or something like a vs code what you have to do is you have to extract this file so just right click on this and click on extract all right after clicking on extract all it will ask for a way to download or way to extract the files i will keep it as default click on extract so the file will get extracted in the current folder where the particular zip file is present see you can see here this is a unzipped file this is zipped file right i will what i will do is i will click on this our more folder is there i will click on this so this is the main directory where all the files are existing right you can see here many of the files are present here what i will do is i will just open this i will click on show more options i will click this that is open with vs code so this is where uh, and this is how you can open a project that is php app uh, in order to run this what you can do is uh, after installing xamp right go to the search bar search for xamp control panel you can see here xamp control panel open this and you can see two servers that is apache you can see all the five but in this we won't, we are going to use only two that is apache and mysql go on clicking this apache and mysql start start so if it is shown with green symbol and the, if uh, all the text appears black here then the server has been started correctly if you see any red or uh, red symbols here you may have installed mysql uh, workbench maybe in the previous uh, days so go on uh, just uh, uninstalling that or uh, 
just make that uh, uh, stop for particular some time and then install this particular XAM. Right. So as you can see, both are in green. So server has been started correctly. I will just minimize this. And uh, here in this particular file, what you can do is uh, search for database. I will search for database here. Uh, you can see database folder like this or you can see any other folder types. But you have to search for .sql file in this folder. Uh, it may be present anywhere. It may be present in the admin folder or it may be present in any other folders or it may be exist as a file in uh, general folder itself. So go and search for this demo.sql, right? So just open this file. So if you open this file, you won't understand anything. This is a queries. So you can, you uh, mean, so you won't use this file as for now for editing purpose. Just close this and go for searching this connect connection.php or connect.php. So after opening this particular connection.php or connect.php, just find for this name that is after this dollar connection, you will get some name in a string, right? Here you can see it is a demo, right? So what you do is go to your particular browser. I will go to my uh, this browser here and in the search bar, just type localhost. That's it. Nothing to type more. If you click on localhost, it will directly redirect to, to, to this particular localhost forward slash dashboard forward slash. So this is one website, right? So this is running on our localhost. Just go for this PHP my admin here. Okay, so as you can see here, so database that is PHP my admin has been opened successfully. So this website will only open when you start the servers here. If you started the server and it has been started correctly, then only this localhost uh, PHP my admin will start. Otherwise, it won't start. So please do check twice before opening this localhost PHP my admin. Right after opening this, what you can, what you have to do is go to this new section here in the top left corner right just click on this new and it will ask for database name right so in the database name what you have to put is go to vs code in the connection.php you can see here within the single quotes you have file demo right so name is demo means this is the database name connection this is a query or a, this is what a connection string or uh, here you can see connection after this what you find is that is the database name so here what is the database name so it is demo right so go to this particular uh, PHP my admin and type demo here. After typing demo, you just click on this create. You keep everything default. Don't uh, you are not allowed to change anything. Just keep everything default and go on creating this. After creating, you will get this interface. In this interface, what you have to do is go to import section here, right? Import section. Then it will ask for choose a file to import. File to import, right? Choose file. Just click on this and uh, you have to move to your download section here where you have installed the project right uh, here you can see this is a zipper file and this is unzipped file means I have extracted the files right so this is the folder go to this folder go to this folder as you can see we found dot sql file in where in the database folder right just click on this you can see this is a sql source file just select this file and open as you can see demo dot sql has been selected here then scroll down then here you can see import just click on import. Okay, so as you can see here, everything is green tick mark. That is all the tables has been created successfully, which is related to this particular project. You can see here, these are the tables, admin, delivery persons, food donations, login, user feedback. Right, so the project has been set up su successfully. Now what you have to do is, uh, in order to run this file successfully, just go to this uh, folder where your file is present. As you can see, your file is present in where? download section right just select this so this is where all the uh, files are present just before to this if you go back you will find one folder right food waste management system main just select this file i will copy this okay just copy this file and go to your uh, zamp folder which was uh, present in uh, install folder that is zamp here just go to this here what you have to do is find for ht docs i will find this Inside this, what you have to do is you have to paste the thing. As you can see, I have already pasted that is post food waste management system main. I won't paste it as for now because I already pasted it. So after pasting it, what you do is go to your any of the browsers and type for localhost forward slash. After entering forward slash, what you have to do is go to the folder which is a food waste management system, right? Uh, as you can see, it is in where C and uh, it is in XAMPP and it is in HTDocs. Here, just 
copy the text that is food waste management system i will copy this text and i will go to the browser back after forward slash just paste the thing which have been copied from there as you can see food waste management system main after entering this click on enter that's it as you can see here the project has been opened successfully uh, from here you can go for using the website you can log in as a user or you can uh, log in as an admin or you can open in more things as a delivery section you can enter username password email and you can register as well or you can log in if you have registered earlier so this is how you can run any php websites using xam control panel that is uh, using mysql and apache server so if you have any doubts please uh, post your doubts in the comment section below i will try to reply reply to you as fast as i can let me show you one more uh, project how to open one more project which has been which is uh, in a different project structure i will go to download section uh, i have one more file here that is a uh, student details management system so this is one more php website i will just open this as you can see same but here the structure is different there you can find n number of files but here all the files are present in where in stms folder right this is structured well and here sql file you can file dot sql here so this is stmsdb dot sql file and uh, this is readme file just go for this and you can read the things and you can install this so everything is same but you have to search for the files one is what one is connection dot php right here if you go for this uh, thing that is this folder you can go and search for that uh, connection connection thing and this thing is what the sdms tv this is sql file where you have to select for importing the tables right so everything is same so if you go for this includes directory here double clicking on this you can find db connections right if you just open this folder if you open this particular db connection php you can find here there is a different uh, structure that is they have define db name as sdms db in this format and they are trying to connect so that's only that simple so db server db user and db name right there also you are finding the uh, particular uh, what parameters but they have assigned it earlier and they are passing as a variables here db name is passing means this sdms db this is the database name so in order to run this file what you have to do you have to go to this php my admin that is uh, this folder and here on clicking new here you have to enter what you have to enter stmsdb right here you can see database name is what stmsdb so enter stmsdb and create then uh, after creating uh, in the import section go to the import section and uh, search for what in this folder search for that sql file right i have shown you where sql file is present here you can see sql file within this we can find stmsdb this is sql source file select this file and just run the thing so this is how you can run any other php files just find for db connection dot php one file and one more is sql source file so only these two files are required to run this particular project so one more tip at the end is you can find uh, n n such particular websites which has been built using php and their source code for free without any cost in one website abe jaldi bol kal subah panvel nikalna hai I will show you which website is that. Just type code for berry. Just type code for berry. After typing, you can find this first website. If you click on this website, 2000 years later. So you can see here PHP projects free download with source code. Yeah. Yeah. Right? They won't any cost anything. Uh, already provided a number of projects and uh, they will also provide options for download the particular file and you can extract the folders and you can run this as you can see here e-commerce website in php and mysql with source code then online grocery shop furniture shop online electronics uh, like this you have a number of projects here and also you, you can take a reference of these projects to build your own projects as well so that's it guys that's it for uh, this video if you have any doubts or queries please ask in the comment section below i will reply to your questions as soon as i as soon as possible so thank you guys for watching this video i will meet you in the next video till then take care bye bye